Good morning. In the 139th Psalm, in the 7th verse, David declared, I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. David went on to say that no matter where he would go, God's presence would be there. He is an ever-present God. And because he's ever present, God is also ever speaking. Wherever God is, God also speaks. And in John, Jesus talked about the fact that his sheep hear, know his voice. That's John chapter 10, verse 4. So, as the people of God, we hear God's voice. Every single day that God gives us breath is a fresh and new opportunity to hear his voice. But not only does God speak every day, he speaks everywhere. He is an everyday, everywhere God. In other words, our experiencing hearing God's voice should never be limited to our private devotional time. And whatever time we spend alone with God, reading our Bible, praying, and we can hear God in those moments, and that's wonderful and important. But it's equally important for all of us to be reminded that God is not limited, nor does He desire to be limited to just speaking to us in those moments. God wants to speak to us throughout the course of our day. He can speak to us while we're taking a shower. He can speak to us while we're washing the dishes or cooking a meal or uh, taking a walk. There are multiple times throughout the course of the day that the ever-present God is ever speaking. The everyday God speaks every day, everywhere. Now, Sometimes believers struggle with that because, well, I don't know, I haven't heard God's voice in a while, or I don't know why I struggle hearing God's voice. If Jesus said, my sheep know my voice, then the issue must be with us. Here's what I think. I believe that the reason why we sometimes struggle hearing God's voice is because there are a whole lot of other voices speaking. I would submit to you that as the people of God, we need to declutter our life from all the noise that's always around us. Why? Because the Bible also teaches us in 1 Kings chapter 19 that God speaks with a gentle voice, a gentle whisper. God's voice is very quiet and subtle, but very loud within our spirit. If we will declutter, if we will get rid of all the other noises that we tend to surround ourselves with, I believe then we will hear the voice of God more clearly, that still small voice. So today, let me encourage you by praying that way. Lord, help me to declutter my life from all of the other voices that tend to drown out that still gentle whisper that it is the Lord's voice. Because after all, the Lord wants to speak to you and I every day and everywhere. Father, I thank you that you desire to speak to your children every day and everywhere, that you're not limited just to that private time, oh God, that devotional time, but you want to speak to us multiple times throughout the day. I pray that you will help us all to declutter our life from all the other noises that will tend to drown out or make it more difficult for us to hear your voice, your gentle whisper, Lord. And I pray that we will begin to experience more than ever before hearing your voice speaking to us every day and everywhere. In Jesus' name, amen.